Welcome back to another episode of Mighty Master Iremakun. Last episode was a bit of a setup for this new arc of. I actually don't know. I don't know what the fuck we're doing. We're just doing like. I think this is like a little bit of an intermission period period before we get to the next arc. So we're doing study prep for final ex no term exams, right? Iruma doesn't know shit, obviously, because he's before in here. But there's one subject he's very good at, and it seems to be some kind of nether worlds. I forgot the exact topic, but it's everything that has to do. Not with the netherworld. It's all human shit. So he he knows that. It's perfect. And then we go to a school and so we go to a class where a teacher apparently teaches them. He seems very evil to an extent, just on the first glance because of his mask. But I'm judging a book by its cover. I'm sure he's I'm sure he's of course gonna be like a really kind person, even though currently he has everyone just tied up in vines on the classroom. I have no idea what's happening. Let's watch the episode. Of course Clara's writing the teacher. Of course Clara is. Mm -hmm. Clara is actually so adorable. Oh, you see, he's giving Clara head pats. See, he's gonna be a good guy. But he's gonna be probably amazed at Iruma's knowledge about the human world. More head pats for you. Head pats for her ass too. He really likes head patting the students. Skinship. Huh. This is the lawsuit in the making. <laughs> if this is, you know, just the real. They can't be touching students, but it's a bit different here. Here we go. But it seems like humans. People think that humans don't exist. They're like Santa Claus here. They're like, you still believe in humans exist or something? Uh, beat them. That's the interesting thing. All their anthems talk about killing humans, eating humans. But you know what Henry said? Amari's dad. They went out of their way to make sure the human returned to Earth very safely. In fact, everything we're being led to believe about how they treat humans, I think it's the exact opposite. This is kind of true because when we gave a demon blood, they healed. We saw that in season one, like one of the first episodes. We healed like the guardian beast. <laughs> they need to grow wings out of a necessity to survive. Interesting, Iruma doesn't have wings. Oh, I noticed you don't have wings, huh? No horns, no wings. How are you gonna explain that, huh? How are you gonna explain that? Oh, so interesting, he's been kidnapped. Bye, class is over. He's just gonna steal and class is over. <laughs> Bye! It took them two seasons to realize he doesn't have wings. It took them two seasons. I guess they would be hidden under clothes, right? No one actually touches back. Uh-oh. How are we gonna get out of this one? How are we gonna get out of this one? No horns, no wings. Sullivan, save us! Somebody? Yo! This is kind of fucked. The teachers are undressing the students. This is a lawsuit in the making! Ali. Thank God, Ali. Thank God. Wow. Ali clutched so hard. Yeah, I'm gonna go now. Bye. Oh. What's up? What? Have you realized something else? Are we. Uh, preconception. A severe illness. Or you're a human. Oh, the mask is coming off. His mask is coming off. He is a very special creature, though. What does he look like under the mask? Just like a regular dude. What are you gonna do? Are you about to, like, lick him? Why are you taking your mask off? Nah, he wouldn't. He wouldn't. Did he really have to throw his mask all the way back? Oh. oh, he wanted to show his own, like, you know, his, his face is scarred, so he felt like, you know, doing that was too much, so he wanted to show his vulnerability, I guess. That's why he wears a mask. You know, people like this are probably the most um, empathetic and, like, kind because they've been, like, shunned by everybody, right? They know what it feels like to be outcasted, so they'll probably, you know be more kind, if you know what I'm saying, even though they might look scary. I mean, the mask kind of makes you look scarier to me. <laughs> but he has his teeth stripped you down. <laughs> Tiny wings. 
just a bit, Ali was the most startled. He's a good guy. He's a good guy. He's a great guy. Aww. Aww. He's a great guy. Whoa! He, what? You felt comfortable enough to tell him? What? Why would you say that? Why would you just slip like that? Huh? Why did he slip? Okay, we're getting a little bit of flashback of him probably getting bullied because of his looks. He's always wore that. I guess he was born like it. I thought it might have been like an injury sometime later on. Or maybe he got an injury as a kid. There's nothing wrong with picture books. Oh, these are all like human picture books. Oh, interesting. Why would you... Because he trusts him so much already? That's too dangerous to say. What do you mean you accidentally said it? No one just accidentally just makes that like what? How convenient for this? I I, I don't even know like. No, uh, you misheard me. I meant uh, I'm a human. Oh, I don't even know. Okay, cool. Tell me more. <laughs> I guess this is kind of his. Maybe it's his dream to meet a human. The wings they were fake. He's really doubling down. No, nothing. But why? Why did you... They're terrified. He's terrified of it. Hold back as in you're scared to eat. Do they really eat humans though? Or is this just a myth? Uh, a little bit of a backward logic that they're trying to make us, the audience, think that demons really do eat humans, but based on how Amity's dad was talking about humans, I think it's the opposite. I think they might treasure humans, which sounds weird, huh? I don't know. Maybe I'm just jumping to conclusions. Everybody's tired from studying. How did you guys do? Come on! You're trying to be degenerate during the summer break, right? One day wasn't even... They couldn't even get through one day. Yeah, the lion guy. Or even Azaz. All the morons gather here. Yeah, Sabro? Wait, Sabro? Is that a moron? Am I judging him because he's just all muscles? Maybe he's actually brains too? Shit. Okay. Yeah, I didn't know either. Maybe he's taking it very seriously. It's almost like Clara has tamed Sabro, even though Fal Fal has tamed Clara. Yeah, what are you guys doing for the break? Yeah, there's other places. We haven't been to anywhere other than school. Yo, I'd be down for one like filler episode where we just like hang out. Just like summer festival kind of episode, huh? And then maybe fireworks again, and then Amity. Eat him us down. Balam, you're not making it very... You're making it very obvious. Looks very creepy if you, see, if you look like that. Uh, it's all a misunderstanding, but... Balam, you could really take care of yourself to not look so... You know, evil on the outside. Karego and Balam, what's their relationship like? Are they cool? Are they friends? Are they enemies? Are they... Oh... They're buddies. They're buddies. First name basis. <laughs> Actually, I don't know if Shichiro or Baram is uh, his first name, but they're 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 on good terms. How come? What did you guys do? Classmates. Oh, the grad same cohort. But friends doesn't exist. Like the concept of friends doesn't exist to them, right? That still hasn't been explained. And I still think it has something to do with the fact that everybody's either like um like a rival or like a demon and like and they're like um servants, depending on who wins. But yeah, Karago, you get along with them. I mean it's not surprising to be honest. They both seem pretty gloomy. <laughs> She's doing the same thing as Clara's doing. But you know, this is a different approach to studying, I guess they're trying to tell us, right? There's a different ways to study, it's not just one way. As long as he's learning, I guess. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> the like, what's going on? 
They're completely broken. They've gone mad for the exam studying. 55, that's a pass. That's a pass. That's all we care about. We're just trying to pass. Congratulations. You barely passed. Clara, what about you? Clara, let's see your score. Mm, Clara. Are we still stupider than Clara? I guess the fact that I said stupider makes me even more stupid. She got 58. Still better than us. 55 as well on a test. Sure. Well, whatever gets him more excited to study, I guess, and get a better score. Yeah, are they surprised that... Wait, did we get our marks? No, it's about to happen. Tsukuni. Begin. And cliffhanger. And that's another episode of Mighty Mashita Irumakun. And as I've said, you know, these studying bits are not the most exciting part about, you know, this anime. Of course not. We we're here to see... Like the world building, we're here to see everybody be amazed what Iruma can do and the crazy, not the, that's not even the battles, it's more of like char character developments, the writing, the world building. The battles are cool I guess, but it's not the central focus, but what I'm trying to say is these necessary parts of the studying because they're still part of the school environment, it needs to be done and they're doing it in a pretty concise, pretty well way. I mean, I would have liked it to be done in one episode, but we're almost there. We're almost there. They got it nice and cleaned up. Badam's introduction with Kaligo Tsu was really nice and you know, I, I definitely knew. I mean, it was kind of too obvious when you introduce such a menacing looking guy and it's like, this guy's going to be nice. This guy's going to be, he's baiting us out, right? So it's really nice that they handle him like that. If you stick around the song, if you'd enjoy my reaction, you already know what I'm going to say. Check out the other videos and playlists on my channel. If you watch another video, immediately up this one. That helps you to go push out my small channel to recommend it so that I have a chance to compete with some of your favorite reactors. Until next time, guys, take care.